All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to another, uh, uh, excuse me, another episode of another bourbon show. Um, we have uh, a different kind of a show for you tonight. Uh, last week, if you were listening in, you got to listen to us talk to Matt Holt while we drank Weller Special. What the fuck are you doing, Ryan? Uh, hey, whiskeys, baby. <laughs> Uh, seems like uh i don't know i don't know i would think somebody from chicago would be a little more street savvy than that because that was a that was a hate symbol for all the audio listeners just know that ryan just did a hate symbol okay <laughs> is that the new is that the new q and on symbol i don't know why don't you tell us ryan why don't you tell yeah us? you should know. tell us yeah i gotta I, head I, down I, spring. I gotta head down to the state capitol soon if there was one thing I could wish, like historically speaking, it's that somebody would have kidnapped you, Ryan. That would have... <laughs> speaking of you or not, that that would have been. <laughs> oh shit! So in any case, we've got a different kind of a show for you tonight. Uh, last week, you listened to or uh, listened to us while we were drinking Weller Special Reserve. The week before that, we were drinking Maker's Forty Six with Milton Patch. Um, Actually, there's a Sazerac rye in there somewhere, but doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Recently, you've <laughs> listened to us drink those two uh, bourbons. And during one of the episodes, and probably previous episodes too, I've talked about doing blind tastings. And we thought it was the perfect time to do a blind tasting of these two right here. Maker's Mark 46 and Weller Special Reserve. Um, they both use broadly, generally the same mash bill as far as we know. Uh, they're about four points difference in proof. Uh, Weller SR being 90, Maker's 46 being 94. Uh, they're both weeded. Um, they both have the same historical ties to, uh, to Weller Stitzel uh, Distillery. Um, they come from that same vein. Uh, big difference here is that this one is almost impossible to find. Almost impossible to find. It's supposed to be about 25 bucks, And when you do see it on the shelf, it's normally going to be upwards of $40. If you can even find it. On the other hand, this one has a SRP of about $40 but you can find it all day, every day at that price and oftentimes less. Um, on this episode, you heard Ryan got his for like 32 bucks. I got mine for like 38 bucks. Um, so we thought it would be a great time to do a, um, a blind tasting. So we, uh, our spouses, well, Ryan and I, Ryan's spouse and my spice, spouse poured ours for us. Steven's girlfriend poured his for him. We've got one labeled A and one labeled B. Uh, so let's, here's how we should do it. We should nose A, nose B, and then talk about that, and then taste each of them, and then talk about that, and then we'll drink, and then we'll talk about it throughout the night, and then at the end, we'll figure out which one is which, okay? Sounds good. All right. As you can see, listeners, or here, we have a solid plan. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to start off with A. And my wife de doesn't seem to think I'm going to like A as much as I'm going to like B. She gave me a much heavier pour for B than A. I got about the same amount, pretty much. B looks like a little yeah. bit heavier, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. I, it could very well be that Jesse messed up and this is the exact same whiskey twice. I mean, <laughs> we'll find out later, I guess. <laughs> Ryan, it looks like Mahi poured like exactly the same amount in each of them. Yeah, she did. Yeah. It's pretty even. That's, so. a, that's a good <laughs> Jesse that. Muslim She's very, woman. Jesse <laughs> says no. That was not the case. Although she did <laughs> ask me, she, was, she didn't understand fully from the start because she was like, what's the third one? Like, the, there isn't one, so we're nope. not on the same page already. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> it's an A and a B. There, there's no C. <laughs> oh, Dan, I was at uh, one of my stores. I won't, I won't say which one, but it's the one that takes in a bunch of deals. And 
They had make regular makers three seven fives for nine ninety nine. What? <laughs> yeah. Is that insane? I, I was looking at it. I was like, oh god. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So how, how many how many did you buy? How many cases? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I haven't bought any yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I prefer the nose on A for sure. It's kind of nutty, I feel like. Yeah, or maybe just because I'm What's that? comparing them, comparing them both. I don't know. Maybe it's not, though. I'm just psyching myself out. I definitely prefer the nose on A as well. Yeah. Right. Nose on B is very light, actually. Yeah. yeah. Nose, nose on B is light, but like more alcohol, right? Like yeah. more of a ethanol to it. Not as much of a, it's not as appealing for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, they both have a, a nice uh, smoothness to them. But far less alcohol burn from A for me. And the nose on A gives me a pretty good idea of which one is which. I agree. Okay. <laughs> I would agree. It's here. Okay. So do we want to go ahead and have a have a taste? Do it. Do All right. Yours. Let's take a little sip of A. Cheers. Oh, that 100% confirms to me what A is. Uh, A's got a really great flavor. Very smooth. Um, nice little hug in my tummy, but no sting. A lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. What would you guys think of A? It was Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you son of a bitch! You're just trying to make wow. sure that you pick the one that you cl claim you were gonna pick. Usually we wait till the end of the episode, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. I think Ryan's the MVP of this episode. The MVP? Yeah, Ryan did a great job with this episode. He was the winner of this podcast for sure tonight. <laughs> Sweet, thanks, Steven. <laughs> okay, so B is smooth i don't get nearly as much flavor out of b yeah. it's more of a just a it, it's smooth and it has some flavor to it but like to me a has a much better yeah. taste to it a better palate a better finish all of that um i i think i might be doing a podcast first right here Saying that I you feel were like wrong, I am a. I'm about to have a code red situation. Okay, let's, I just let's hear it. I I just farted and almost shit my pants, <laughs> um, which confirms to me that I'm going to have diarrhea, and um, <laughs> I need to go shit right now. Right now, <laughs> so I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> my ass is on fire. Too much Dolcolax. <laughs> Better fiber. <laughs> I I thought it was going to be about the whiskey. I did too. Still in me. I, I, I for sure thought he was about to say, "Hey, I I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I know what A is, and A does taste much better." Yeah. <laughs> No, but, just almost shit no. <laughs> Just a wet fart. <laughs> oh, God. He just Facebook messaged us. Definitely diarrhea. Definitely. <laughs> oh, there he Here is. Here he is. Well, that first one gave me diarrhea. So, you know who's going to win this poll? <laughs> oh jesus are you better now <sighs> i'm all, papa's all better 
<laughs> you know, we really, really thought you were about to make some sort of an announcement about the bourbon. That's where we thought you were going with that. I know. Was, I said it, it's going to be a, a first for the show. Yeah. Yeah, and it was a code red. <laughs> I mean, it's so. really... It's really our fault when you think about it, Dan, that we yeah. thought Ryan was going to add something to the podcast in some way. <laughs> yeah, we should we just... for sure know by now. Right? <laughs> we oh. should know better. <laughs> oh. So while we're at it, Ryan, you want to give us an update on the on the COVID? You were you're fine. You're out of the woods. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm out of the woods. Uh, I'm back 100. Uh, percent Today was <laughs> pretty much my... that is a symptom, isn't it? No, I mean, it's just funny that you're, uh, you, this is back to 100% for Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> I almost shit myself back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> when I had COVID, I was shitting myself. Yeah. So this is an improvement. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm definitely not going to eat Wendy's for a while. I can tell you that. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> just uh, like a double cheeseburger and fries. But the burger tasted weird. I remember eating it and being like, man, this tastes weird. Like, it's not as good as it usually is. But let me go ahead and so, have another bite. And let me yeah, let me finish I'll, every bit of it. I was, yeah, I was hungry. <laughs> Actually, I didn't finish. I finished about, like, two-thirds of it. And then I threw the rest away. You're the I'm guy that eats the there the day before the E. coli outbreak. And that's how we all know about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers to me. Don't eat the chili tomorrow. That's oh. the message for everybody that's potentially eating wendy's in the chicago <laughs> land area hopefully we don't lose wendy's as a sponsor oh yeah yeah that's yeah. a real possibility us getting a sponsor <laughs> implying, <laughs> implying we had one to begin with yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> i wouldn't want to lose them <laughs> <laughs> hey but now we can at least blame someone if like we, ryan we can blame you now so you're sure. you're a fall guy yeah, we all right to sounds good them. <laughs> yeah man a is just like i feel like i i, I expected this was gonna be close but and i feel like not. i feel like a whatever a is i'm guessing a is weller that's my guess really my guess is weller special reserve is a okay and i think I just, that yeah it is wildly better so if I'm wrong, then that'd be great content because I don't, ex I expect it to like Weller more. Yeah. And I expect that, well, and, but I still expect it to be close regardless. I didn't think that I was like, I think I might've even said in one of those other podcasts that like, you know, I didn't rate either one that highly. And I said yeah. that I, I think that it, it was within the range that on any given night, I could choose one or the other. And now here I am tonight and I'm thinking that it's not even close. That it's yeah. One of them is significantly better than the other one. Correct. Correct. A is significantly superior to B, in my opinion, just because it's much it's much smoother. I think it has a better nose and palate. Mm -hmm. um, the finish on B is pretty harsh, honestly. Yeah. Um, in comparison. In comparison, yeah. It's still both of them yeah, are yeah. still good. I would drink either one of these, but I think that um, I honestly, if I had B uh, blind with a lot of the bourbons I've got on my shelf right now, I think I would pick the other thing. Like yeah. it's just not really standing out to me that much it's like there's nothing like really bringing you back to it a is all the notes i would want in a bourbon basically yeah what about you ryan how do you feel yeah the nose i do think a is more interesting and you get a lot more off the nose b there's not as much there but when i'm drinking both of them i definitely prefer b over a really um, yeah it's just i don't something just doesn't I don't, and me thinking which one this is well, you kind of cheated a second ago by like, pulling time. out the bottle. I didn't cheat. Okay. I, I have the bottles in front of me. I suspected that before I smelled. I was just reassuring my thoughts here. Oh, okay. Okay. Because um, I so, have been drinking them a little bit up into this point, too. Yeah. Um, which I don't know if that was against the rules, but I, I wasn't not going. We're playing it. loose. We're There's playing no loose. There's no rules. Man. Yeah. So, um, so the you, nose is you... definitely more interesting. I prefer the nose on A. Ryan's okay. butt hole sure. is playing loose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. But as far as like the, the taste and the finish, which do you prefer? I find A a little harsh. Um, there's definitely a little more burn to A. Um, I 
B, I just get a little more vanilla and caramel. It's it just smoother to me on the taste. But it's weird because my first, when we did the first review of one of these, um, I definitely like it more now than I did. Um, but still, the finish on A, just not really there for me. Okay. Maybe I need, maybe I need to drink it more, but um, I drank a lot more of the other one, and I seem to like that a little more. Okay. Well, I am completely with Steven on this one. I don't think that the two of them are even close. Um, I think that A <clears throat> is far better in every aspect. Nose, taste, finish. Um, I think that A has... Uh, I, I think that A is more complex. I think it hits on more of the flavor profiles that I tend to enjoy. Um, I feel that A has a much better finish though not as long as b b has a longer finish um but i don't enjoy the finish on b nearly as much as i do a and i would take like to me <clears throat> whichever one a is it's worth it's worth money right like like Whichever one is, let's just, I highly suspect that A is the Maker's Mark 46. I'm almost 100% confident that A is Maker's 46. I'm right there with you the whole way. And too. I just confirmed that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but A is the Maker's, B is the Weller. Um, <clears throat> I just, like, I figured, we're, why would we sit here and, try to figure it out the rest of our rest of the night yeah a's makers mark 46 and i find it to be worth every bit of 15 dollars more in srp than the weller sr so steven very surprised are you I you, you really yeah. thought you'd like the, the weller for sr better um yeah but again i thought it would be like close i didn't like i again i'm not like a huge like weller sr fanboy or anything but yeah, yeah. um I, yeah, I really, because I didn't, I remembered like, like being kind of like so-so on the Makers 46 and now side by side. And I, I remember liking like Weller Special Reserve more, mm -hmm. um, but not, I didn't have them. I had them a couple weeks apart. Yeah. So now having them together on the same night back to back, it's not even close to me. Makers 46 blows it out of the water. And again, as I said before, I'll say again, A, a is like everything I'm looking for in a bourbon, basically. Mm -hmm. Um B, it just seems like like the only thing I'm picking up now, I'd be curious to go back and like listen to my thoughts on Water Special Reserve the first time because now it's almost like I just get like a faint molasses and it's gone or something. Mm -hmm. And then with well, there's our with Makers 46, I feel like there's all there's a lot to talk about with it in terms of like everything I pick up from start to finish. You're talking about the complexity of it, right? Yeah. It's almost like with B, it's very, it's a very vapid experience in comparison. Yeah, B is um <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. B is not like it's bad. Yeah, it's it's not a bad pour in any way, shape, or form. But when you're drinking them side by side, Ryan, I th I think it's I think it's crazy that you still prefer Weller Special Reserve. Yeah, you know, just the notes I was getting tasting it is the same how I felt as last time. I just unless I have a bad bottle or something, it just real I get real like ethanol burned to it from the forty six. Yeah. At least okay. maybe I have a maybe I have a bad bottle. Maybe it's maybe it's the cork. Um, Can you? I mean, they use an artificial cork, so that's unlikely. But um, yeah, if you look at it when you pull it out right now, you'll see it's oh, artificial I see what you're cork. Yeah, it's like plastic um, or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, so here's the thing: everybody has different preferences when it comes to bourbon. Um, something that I absolutely love, somebody else might just absolutely hate. Um, I, do, I do still find it really odd, especially with knowing how much you like caramel and vanilla. I would get, I would even more so guess that you would prefer the Maker's 46 over yeah. the, the Weller. I think the, but, no, the nose for sure. Um, <clears throat> I just don't really get those notes when I'm drinking it. Hmm. You know, you know the, 
the over caramel vanilla and i i get a lot of nuttiness off the notes too like a lot of almond um yeah at least on my bottle um so i i am surprised how much more i like the nose on a as opposed to weller for sure mm -hmm. um side by side that does surprise me but i just feel like the weller's a little sweeter like what i like a little more um like i said maybe i just got a bad bottle i don't know but that's I true. feel the exact same way about the last time I drank it as to now. It just doesn't really sit right. Just because you Not said that, that just now, because you said it was like sweeter side, it totally makes sense why you like it then. Because I think what we found out over the course of the show so far is that like, um, you know, you, you end up liking like the sweeter, not necessarily like sweet or whatever, but like the more decadent or whatever what your, word we keep using bourbons. Like you end up coming up on the side of like, we generally like them you always like them a little bit more yeah so i guess it makes sense that in in these two it's strange that we have such a valley between us this time where dan and i think it's not even close and you're like oh b's better it just seems so like wildly different i guess in comparison to how we normally feel yeah and i'm not trying like i'm not trying to like weller fanboy it up um i feel like i knew pretty like you know right away like along with you dan which one was which yeah and yeah like i said i don't know, for for whatever reason yeah maybe it's maybe willer's a little more decadent than than makers 46 uh i really like the nose on makers 46 i wish it translated to what i was smelling into the taste it just doesn't well, for me see that's the funny thing is for me the nose on 46 almost perfectly matches the the taste and like the palate and the the finish for me like the nose, like I know that the first time I talked a lot about like buttered popcorn, popcorn, but tonight I'm getting like, and it's probably because of the comparison side by side, I'm getting a whole lot more like caramel popcorn from the 46. And um, yeah, so, so like that's part of the reason why I'm so surprised that you prefer the B um the the weller special reserve because like i i do know you like decadent um bourbons and and i'm getting that caramel popcorn uh with a little like still with buttery like a with a buttery flavor um and for for me tonight the the weller special reserve just side by side is like alcohol but anyway um <clears throat> but yeah to, to me it's not even close to me it's maker's mark far superior here's the here's the thing listeners uh or observers watchers whatever the thing i hope you guys get out of this is how important it is to do things blind right like compare things side by side blind you get a much better understanding of what your personal preferences are and which is actually better because like when you walk into a store, if you see this on the shelf, you're like, well, of course they have Makers 46. Why wouldn't they have Makers 46? But if you walk into the store and you see this on the shelf for 25 bucks, you're like, holy fuck, I just scored a bottle of Weller Special Reserve because this is so hard to find. And in my opinion, you should be just as excited to see this on the shelf, even though this is $16 more when it comes to SRP. Um, but again, that's just my two cents. I do encourage listeners and watchers to do this yourself, even if it's at a bar and it's two things like Blanton's. Oh my God. I don't want to go on a big rant about Blanton's again, but Blanton's is a $65 bottle average, but you're going to see it for $200. Don't, spend 200 bucks on a bottle that you've never tasted go to a bar and say okay i want to try a 13 dollars glass of your blanton's and something that you already know you like and tell that bartender and i want to taste them blind and take them and do exactly what we just did and see how that blanton's compares to that thing that you have ready at really you know uh, is readily available to you and much less expensive and see does it compare that's all i'm saying
Yeah, this totally blew my mind that this was ended up being Makers 46 for sure. Um, yeah. And uh, something about you, like I know you had mentioned it before, but you just saying the caramel popcorn now, I totally get that this time. I didn't really before, but I totally get it now. And again, I think it's just in comparison to having just another bourbon beside it. So I would even go a step further and say like, that just doing this blind tasting and just having a different, I don't typically ever do this where I have a different bourbon side by side with another bourbon. Um, so just doing bourbon flights, I think could be like really valuable if you're learning about bourbon, because I was able to pick up different things this time and mm -hmm. a combination of just having it next to another one. And then you, you know, kind of talk about some of those notes. You know, one thing I did, um, just before Christmas is I did a blind tasting of the entire Buffalo Trace Mash Bill 2 lineup. So I did, um, I did a, it was a pour of Bland's, Elmer T. Lee, Rock Hill Farms, and Hancock Reserve. And um, I did them blind. And the way those, those prices are supposed to work is Rock Hill Farms is supposed to be the most expensive, followed by Blanton's, followed by Hancock, followed by Elmer T. Lee. Elmer T. Lee is, a 40, is supposed to be a $40 bottle. Rock Hill Farms is supposed to be about a $75 or $80 bottle. Now, the hardest to find of all of them is Elmer T. Lee. The easiest to find is actually Blanton's. They make way more Blanton's than they do Elmer T. Lee, Hancock, or Rock Hill Farms. For me, Elmer T. Lee ended up being number one. No, excuse me. Rock Hill Farms, followed by Elmer T. Lee, followed by Blanton's, followed by Hancock Reserve. And like to do those four blind, to me, just like spoke so much to, to my individual preferences. Um, Elmer T. Lee. Ryan, have you ever had Elmer T. Lee? I don't think so, actually. Dude, if you ever tasted Elmer T. Lee, like that's your sweet spot. That is it. It is so sweet, so decadent, so caramely, so vanilla -y. You would love Elmer T. Lee. They, to me, no question about it, Elmer T. Lee would be your favorite. Um, but you again, you just learn so much about yourself and your individual preferences when you do a blind tasting. So anyway, listeners, I hope I, I, I hope you try it. Try it between two of your favorites at your own house, even if they're nothing alike. Um, somebody asked me the other day if um, which is which, like in comparison, a Maker's Mark private stock versus 1792 foolproof. And I was like, well, look, you're comparing apples and oranges here, right? Like you're comparing a, a standard bourbon versus a weeded bourbon. In addition to that, like price points are crazy different. Um, but you but but you can still do them blind and like figure out what the flavor flavor profiles of each that you like and figure out is that 1792, which is for some reason really hard to get because it's Buffalo Trace juice. Is it worth the effort and the money that you got to pay for it? Or should you just grab that Maker's Mark private stock that is super easy to find? And to me, go with the Maker's Mark every time. It's easy to find. It's delicious. It is so good. But that's just my two cents. Anyway. Well, I mean, so we've we've had our fun. We've talked about the whiskey and whatnot. But I think it's important to move on to the like real content portion of our podcast, if that's all right with you guys. Sure. You uh, want to ask Ryan if it was a solid shit or a loose one? Well, no, obviously I'm talking about, uh, we have a diamond update. Ah, oh, yeah. I didn't want to go into this. We Speaking have a, of diarrhea. Steven, have... why do you have to be a Debbie, Di <laughs> Debbie Downer? I actually think it's a positive could be a positive headline here because on one hand we have very bad news very bad share ryan, it go for it ryan you son of a bitch don't laugh okay 
You're, you got the smirk on your face, dude. I'm looking at you and I'm just, I'm frankly, I'm appalled, okay? Audio listeners, just know that Ryan has been laughing hysterically and just trying to muffle it for a while now, okay? I'm not let you. But you Dustin Diamond, Dustin Diamond, friend of the show, I'm going to go ahead and say friend of the show. I, you know, I think that's fair. He's never been on the show. He's never interacted with pictures of my taint, but he's still our friend. Right. He, uh, had, you, we talked about last week, diagnosed with a mysterious illness. We now know it to be stage four cancer, yep. unfortunately. However, this is probably the reason why he hasn't had a chance to reach out to us. Exactly. So that's the positive note. The, the positive He's not a dick. He's not a dick. Exactly. A lot of these things, the, a lot of these people talking about like Dustin Diamond's definitely a dick. He's definitely, I know they, him. They he's just don't want to go. He just doesn't, he, he thinks he's too good for another bourbon show. That's right. No, that's not it. That's right. He, so the positive swing from all this is Dustin Diamond is going to get better. Hey guys, Steven here with a quick editor's note. Uh, whoops. And when he does, He's going to finally be able to reply to us and be like, guys, I'm so glad I was able to beat that shit because I was trying to get back to you this whole time. Yep. And I'd love to be on your show. And um, what you what helped bourbon, me survive. What bourbon do you think you would want to do? I mean, low proof, right? Like, like his intestines are not doing well. So probably low proof. Um, you know what? Here's the thing. He's a friend of the show. He's got medical needs. If he wants to drink orange juice, we'll drink fucking orange juice. That's true. Like we do an orange juice. So we do a Sunny D episode for sure. Ab- yeah, why not? Hey, have you guys ever had um ah oh shit, what's it called? It's a uh, Mexican orange juice. Topanga? No. Um a canna? Tim- Tampico. Have you ever had Tampico? I've seen it. That's good shit. Get some Tampico. Have you ever we could drink a, Tampico with him. Have you ever had a blind with Tropicana just to see if you really liked it that much? <laughs> I've not. No. I'm I've not saying. done an orange juice, a, a blind orange juice. <laughs> it, that's, a, that's a fair point, Steve. Listeners, go to a bar sometime. Tell them you want Tropicana. <laughs> and Tampico. <laughs> Another brother showing